Hello. In this video, we will learn how to authenticate or validate a user along with the password but without using any database. I am using Visual Basic 2013 but the same code that we will write can also be worked in Visual Studio 2022. Click on New Project, Windows Form, give it a name. Let's create two text boxes, one for username and another one for password. Let's increase the font size and two labels. and it will be our username and second one would be our password let's have a button as well for login increase font size and change the visible text to login let's have a form image as well although it's not necessary but just to give it some colors all right and i want this form to be have a center screen location whenever it will start and because right now we can see the password we can see the text in the password field but we want to censor it it can be done by making this property true so You won't be able to see the password which makes sense but i'm gonna change it to false again because when we are gonna authenticate our code a uh, username and password so i want you to see what i'm writing in the password field so let's start the coding part let's have two variables and uh, declare them as string uh, one is you name as string you pass as string also let's assign those text values to these variables you name variable will have value weight what we didn't do is have friendly names text name and change this one to text pass let's start again and you name will have value of text name text and you pass will have value of text pass text now let's have a condition if you name is equal to you can write your name or any username so username is navdeep if it's equal if that field is equal to this and we want to use a combination and you pass is equal to let's set a path sorry let's set a password if username is equal to navdeep and password is equal to ethan hunt then 
let's uh, showcase a message box saying login successful else login failed let's test so first of all i'll try correct username but wrong password login failed let's try correct password but wrong username failed that's fine all right and let's test both wrong failed and at final let's have the correct username and password login successful in next video we will also learn how to do this login authentication when we have multiple username and passwords in a database table this was just for the testing purpose to get familiar with how to declare variables and how to use if else conditional statements thank you